It's Peter and the Wolf, but a little bit different actually, with an indie band, not an orchestra, a CBD, not a forest, and it's not horns, but an electric guitar. To tell us more about the Silo Style Show, our puppeteers, Ralph McCubbin Howell, Rachel Baker and Rebecca Head. Morning, Welcome. Oh, yeah. Welcome. Sounds quite different. Now, Ralph, quite intriguing. Who put it together? Uh, it's been put on by Silo Theatre, so Sophie Roberts is directing it. Uh, a guy called Leon Radojkovic is doing the music and it's this amazing combination of heaps of different elements. So there's puppetry and videography and live music and it's all, it's, it's like it's creating an animated film before your eyes. Oh, it sounds cool. Who do you mm. play or who do you look after? Uh, switching around. So we're all sort of jumping on lots of different puppets. We're going to be pretty busy, I think, during the show. Mm. Nice. Yeah, I think you will be. Yeah, no, and I, I, you know, I'm going to find out more about what it takes to be a puppeteer soon because I saw Holly's effort, and obviously a bit of skill is involved, um, which is <laughs> which is great. Um, but okay, let's start with Rebecca. Who do you play? Um, so I operate Peter for the most part, I think, and we all have a go with the duck who is in skeleton form at mm. the moment. All right, so okay. he's not a finished duck. This is it's no. not how no. he's going to be in the show. Is he? <laughs> he's not some sort of, like, you know, modern piece there. No. <laughs> also, Peter's going to have some pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peter <laughs> will be wearing pants Excellent. for opening night. Yeah. Oh, we're pleased to see that. Now, Rachel, that's not the wolf you've got there, is it? No, this is the um, pussy cat. The cat, Good. yes. I was about to say, not very wolf like a wolf. No. <laughs> a bit too cute to be a wolf. And what about the new, the way it's been done? Like, why has it been taken into a CBD? I suppose they wanted to make it more connect with the audience who's going to see it here. So uh, Peter, in this version of the story, is uh, has moved over from Russia, is living by Western Springs, um, and hears noise that uh, a wolf has escaped from the zoo. So it's all transported to an Auckland location. Cool. Oh, I love mm. the new adaptation. Yeah, That's the great yeah. thing about shows at the Silo Theatre, isn't it? They put a nice twist on it, make it contemporary. Um, and the narrators as well. Have I read right? Is the new Prime Minister going to be coming along, Jacinda Ardern, to do some narration? Good, good score. Did you lock her in before she was PM? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, yep, she officially confirmed last week. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, and so who else are we going to here. There's a whole bunch. Uh, Ken Ford, Leyland, yep. uh, Tom Sainsbury. Dave Fane, I think, is doing one. Yeah. Yeah. Rachel yeah. House, she's just been in Thor quite a yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah, too. yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. oh, that's going to be quite fun. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and also, who actually makes these brilliant puppets? Where is that from? Um, a very clever guy called John Coddington. Um, I think he was on your guys' show earlier when he did puppet fiction. Yes. Yeah, so he made these and he is very clever. How, how do you fall in, well not fall in, but how do you become a puppeteer? Is there a certain you know training ground you go to or does it evolve from perhaps drama? You fall in with a bad crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the puppet yeah. crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it would be a pretty small community though of people that are very good at doing this. So how do you find each other? Is it through the shows that they, that they put on? Yeah, I guess so. And um, I've worked on a couple of shows that John's done before. I think you guys have as well. Mm. Um, it's the first time we've worked on something together, though. So it's nice. It's, it's, you, you get to meet a lot of different people. You, it's, it's acting too, isn't it? Really, when you're working the puppets. Mm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It requires the same ability to um, uh, have put yourself in another creature or another person's shoes. You have to think about timing, breath. Um, rhythm, all the same things that an actor mm. needs to utilise, except you're pushing all of that into this inanimate object. So it's quite challenging. I reckon, that, let's get Mike to I reckon to get a sore, yeah, must get a sore wrist and doing this. I to work your puppets as well at the same time as Mike's working his. So, oh, so that yeah. there is... Yep, yeah. that's your wings. Your, your feet. Oh, jeez, OK. <laughs> so feet, so you've got to use both hands. Yep. Feet, oh, OK, so he can walk. Roughly. Nice work. <laughs> and then he can even fly. He can fly. Oh, oh yes. beautiful. And then what does this one do? This is his head. So oh, this okay. is where all his character is. Oh, uh, oh That's I see. That's the important bit, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. That... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it looks crazy. like I'm hanging on to a stick with something <laughs> in the end. <laughs> it's probably not the best display. Um, that's quite good fun. So obviously quite a bit of skill involved in learning all of this and coordination. Do you ever mm. get a sore hand? Yeah, by the end of the day, you you know you've been doing puppeteering all day. They're such great puppets. What age group is the show aimed at? A, a real mix. So um, it's it's all ages, but um, little ears will have a good time. Adults will have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't love Peter and the Wolf? Oh, you're yeah. an indie band. Can you just quickly explain a bit more about that? So no orchestra, an indie band? No, so they've, they've shifted the instruments around. So the cat's now on vibraphone, the wolf is an electric guitar. Um, you've got sax, uh, violin still, yeah. 
Brilliant. Oh, cool. That sounds amazing. And they're all, they're all switching around between different instruments as well. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. You've no really worries. sold the show. It sounds great. I'm looking forward to seeing the finished puppets too. Uh, Peter and the Wolf plays at the Herald Theatre from this Thursday. For ticket details, head along to Ticketmaster.